What an outstanding performance from the off spinner, Nathan Lyon. He's improving every test match. The confidence is growing. Time for another beer, time to talk about that glorious summer of 2013-14. The Ashes whitewash, Nathan Lyon. Tell me about your favourite memory. Probably actually singing the song on the wicket. Going back to the first test was actually my first song as a song leader. So I was extremely nervous because I remember winning that test match. Walked straight off the field and sung the song straight away because I was pretty nervous. But when we won the Ashes, I always wanted to sing it on the oval. Bowling's walking park compared to the song. Is it? The boys will take the piss out of me for it. But I'll get more nervous because it could be Cameron Green or Alex Carey or whoever's first test and their first win. So I want to make it so incredibly special for them, but also the, the staff that's involved as well. They do all the work behind the scenes. So it, it is nerve wracking, but it's something that I'm pretty proud about. Uh, 100th wicket, you're a bit of a one for for milestones and you're pretty good at you're good at remembering other people's. That day that you're talking about when Jono ran out Joe Root, hit it straight in the mid off and took off and direct hit. And I remember saying to the partner, I said, okay, off the back of Jono having series one of the kind, I said, right, I'll just defend. He goes, stuff that I want you to go out and take five wickets. So that was a probably big confidence yeah, pattern nice. back from Pup. And which wicket was your hundred? Stuart Broad caught Michael Clark. And was that your fifth as well? No, KP skied one, and Ryan Harris caught it long off. Straight down the throat of long off, five for Nathan Lyon. The presence that Jono and Ryan and Sid had that test here was, was unbelievable. I felt like a lot of guys tried to take me down, and all I had to do is bowl my best ball type thing, pure off the back of the presence of the big quicks. And I, I feel that's pretty similar to now as well. What was really the highlight of the Ashes, the real highlight? I know where you're leading this, but my, my catch at leg slip was pretty good. No, we'll get to the catches. Yeah. You were undismissed. Did you know at the time, was that building? Like, they haven't got me out here, I'm just going to be... Well, obviously, you I haven't been out the whole series. Yeah. If you get the chance, you need to sit down with Hads and talk about our winnings at the MCG facing Jimmy Anderson. Hads basically said, being the number 11 batsman, they're going to bowl at your head, mate, so just get them before they get you. Oh, Nathan Lyon, that's a nice shot. That'll be hard to stop down there, really quick outfield. Then we had a message run out from Pup saying, Gaz, what the hell are you doing? Pull your head in, you bat with bat with hads. But then I had the vice <laughs> captain the other end go, mate, you need to hit every ball for six. Beautiful. Love catching up. Love having a beer with you and look forward to continuing to talk about this one for the next... 50. 50 years, 60 years. Sounds good. I look Beautiful. forward to it. Good man. Cheers, Gaz.